Hello and welcome everyone. This is Smith Shop Films, the channel that gives you tips, tutorials, and reviews for beginning filmmakers. Today I'm going to give you my top five tips for using the Insta360 One X2. Now, if you're watching this video, it's probably because you already picked up this camera or you're thinking about buying it. But if you're not familiar with it, I'll let you know that this is a small waterproof action camera. Also, it has image stabilization, just like a GoPro and two lenses, one lens on each side of the camera. So it can capture the scene 360 degrees around. So I really have been able to get some amazing shots with this camera and I've been using it for a few months now. So I'll give you my top five tips. So number one is buy the lens guards. The way that this camera is set up is it has two lenses that protrude from it. So even if you set it down on a flat surface, it's going to scrape or scuff the lenses. So the lens guard is really essential. These lenses are very vulnerable. If the camera falls, if you drop it out of your hand, something like that, they can very easily get scuffed or scraped. And then once that happens, the only thing you can do is send it back to the manufacturer. You're going to have to pay about $120. And that is, you know, money that you could save by buying the lens guard. So there's two different types of lens guard. There is a sticky, small sticky one. It has kind of like a sticky tape on it that you just stick on top of the lens. And then there is the premium lens guard, which I will be doing a video about, but this basically snaps over top of it and protects both of the lenses. Either one is fine. This one obviously is a little more expensive than this. I found that with the little sticky type, if you are in a wet location or filming in and out of the water, sometimes water will get up inside and cause condensation, which can ruin your shot. So tip number two is buy the selfie stick. Now there's two different kinds. There's the regular kind, and then there's this extreme one. And if you want to, you can click up above and see the video that I made about this extreme one. It's just much, much longer. The selfie stick is pretty essential if you want to get the best shots. And if you're filming yourself, this is essential. You have to have this in the software, in the app, it will erase the selfie stick from the footage, which brings me to tip number three, download your video clips to your mobile device before you even view them. The way that this camera works is there's a Bluetooth connection between your mobile device and the camera and this Bluetooth connection I believe wears out the battery, runs the battery. It will wear out a lot faster as it's connecting to the camera. If you download the clips to your mobile device, they will play and edit so much smoother and much easier. And the way that you can tell that you have downloaded the clips is that you'll see a section that says camera and then another section that says local. Whatever is in the local section, those things have already been downloaded. So although it takes a few minutes to download the clips, depending on the speed of your mobile device, it's worth it because you're going to save your battery and be able to edit and manipulate those clips much easier. So tip number four is don't use the AI editing feature inside of the Insta360 ONE X2 app. Now I know that AI stands for artificial intelligence, but I'm not sure how intelligent this app is when it comes to picking out the best clips. Every time I use it, it picks out terrible clips. So my suggestion is just go through the video yourself, pick out the clips that you want. What the AI editing is supposed to do is go through the clips, pick out the best ones and section them off for you. But this feature just doesn't seem to work very well. So if you go through the clips, you're going to see the ones that you think just look cool or 
are able to tell the message or show the action that you're trying to show. And it's gonna work a whole lot easier just so don't even waste your time with that AI editing because as my in my opinion, it's just not working right. Okay, my fifth and final tip is to buy an extra battery. So although the battery in here is pretty decent, and let me know in the comments if you want me to do a video where I test the actual recording length of this battery, I would suggest go ahead and buy an extra battery because at some point you are gonna run out of battery and you don't wanna miss the shot or the action that you're trying to get because you'll have to go and then plug this in and charge the battery through the phone. And when you have an extra battery, you just pop out the old one, pop in a new one, and you can keep filming. So it makes your life a lot easier and you won't miss those things that you really wanna catch. Okay, well that does it for me and I hope you got some value out of this video. Those are my top five tips for using the Insta360 ONE X2. Also, if you're thinking about picking up this camera, there are some links in the description. Now those are just affiliate links and I get a small commission which helps me produce more videos like this. This is not a sponsored video and it's not sponsored by Insta360. This is my honest opinion about it. Well, that's it for me and I hope you got some value out of this. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and also make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss when new videos come out and you'll have a place in YouTube where you can come back and watch a video again if you missed a, a tip or a trick or something you want to see again or you just want to watch all the videos over and over again i don't know what you want to do i'm not judging but make sure you hit that subscribe button until next time i'll see you in the next video and stay creative